Welcome to the next episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the last episode. I know it's a little bit different, no workout footage or anything like that, but hopefully that message did reach someone. And now welcome to Maryland. I am home. This is Friday. Got home about nine o'clock last night, unpacked and everything. But today is a crazy day. As you saw, I got up um, not too early, which was nice, but made some breakfast, had a a, a good weigh-in um, so I'm just gonna go over that really quickly so 156 pounds you know not much has changed since the very beginning but I'm happy with that weight because about two episodes ago I mentioned that <clears throat> I did not weigh myself for about two days because every morning I woke up I felt really bloated and you know just not hungry at all throughout the whole day so I knew my weight was gonna be higher so I was like I'm not even gonna bother you know I'm not going to worry about the number for those two days. So I didn't, and it wasn't that big of a deal. Weighed myself yesterday. I was 157 point something. I don't remember exactly. So to see 156 was good. I felt hungry this morning, but wasn't bloated. So I knew this cut would be hard because I know that's how my stomach is now with the intolerance. It goes up and down, up and down all the time. It's just something that I have to get through and to work around, and that's what I'm going to do. But today, it's almost 9 o'clock. I have a meeting at 10 o'clock. It should be about like half an hour or so, but it's almost an hour away, just under an hour. I've got that at 10 o'clock, and then I have to drive back towards the house. going to work out. Yesterday had to be a recovery day, which wasn't a bad thing. But I had planned to go to the school gym at Seton Hall and they were doing maintenance on the electricity. So school is closed, but normally things are still open, but they had no electricity to the entire campus. So the gym was closed, but it was fine. I was able to get be productive, pack, get things ready to leave. So going to this meeting at 10 o'clock, go to the gym after that. And then we've got to take our dogs. That's, they just got a quick checkup, but I'm going to take you guys through the whole day. That's why I'm probably not going to show the workout footage just because I want to keep this video as short as possible, but show you my day. But enough talking, enough rambling. I'll see you guys later, and hopefully you enjoy this video. So, out of the meeting, went really well. It was for job for the summer. Like I said before, I've been interning at an independent gym. So half of it's like a turf field, the other half is weights and everything. And with my certification, I'll be able to train people one-on-one, -on -one, which is nice. So, if you're watching this video, and you're in the Baltimore area, Baltimore, Maryland area, and you're looking for, you know, training, definitely let me know. My email is always in the description box below. So really excited about that. Good things are happening. Just got to work hard to, you know, earn your spot. Nothing's just going to be given to you. Got to work my way up there. But we are at the gym. We're at Retro Fitness. Not going to record because it's just an arm day. But I do have to do cardio since yesterday. I could not get that done. So I'm going to get this done and I'll see you guys afterwards. Probably going to get some food after that. So stay tuned. Back from a great workout. Did arms abs and cardio had to change my shirt because i was disgusting after cardio and abs but it was so good got a good pump arms will definitely be tired but it's time to get some food i forgot to show you guys but i had s'mores quest bar before i worked out before or before i worked out after my meeting so i've had that today and then the oatmeal and the egg beaters I'm gonna go get some food now and i'll take you guys with me kind of have some time to kill because gotta go to the vets 
With my dog, so I'm meeting my dad and my sister there. You guys will see the puppies, show you guys that. But uh, let's go get some food because I'm hungry. So pulling out of the gym right now, and where we're going is just over there. Good old Wawa. Just gotta get out of here. As you guys saw, got good old Wawa. Can never go wrong with a Wawa hoagie, sub, whatever you want to call it, sandwich. So good. If you're in Maryland area, gotta have it. And it pays to prepare yourself so I already know what I'm having for dinner. And that way I can hit my macros by the end of the day. And Wawa has their nutrition facts, so you can go ahead and put that on your phone and then put it into wherever you track your food. So whether it's my fitness pal or my macros plus, then just put it in your app and you're good to go. So I got a six inch sub on a wheat shorty, which is shorty means like the bread, the sub, with chicken, Swiss cheese, spinach, and yellow mustard. That's it, just keeping it simple because I do have to watch the ingredients that I have because of the sugar, but everything shows up online on the nutrition calculator, so I'm gonna enjoy this. I'll show you guys how I went through and made the sandwich online and then put it into my macros plus. So if you do plan ahead and use the nutrition calculators that restaurants will use online that you can live this lifestyle you can plan ahead you can reach your goals with your lose weight gain weight you know if you're just want to track calories or if it's for macros you can do it easily just go ahead and make whatever you're eating on their website then you just put it into whatever app you use so that's what i did i'm still staying on track still have room for more calories even with dinner and my last meal put in there so we've got to go to the vets and I'll take you guys there so see you then. Obviously you want a taste test first right so here we go. So good and it fits my macros. Mm. The key is to toast the whole sub. Gotta toast it all. Nope we're going this way. Come on you have to wait your turn. You gotta wait your turn. You're putting it in a little bit. <laughs> so, here with Ace. He's our new chocolate lab. A few months old. He's got a checkup right now, but our second dog, we have three. Our second dog, Maggie, she's a yellow lab. She's in the vets right now with my dad and my sister. And then when she's done, then we're gonna switch dogs. So I'm the one who's out here watching them, entertaining them as they wait. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, you're all tangled. It's so sedimented in, I guess they. Yeah, they so much. There's so much runoff in there. That's yeah. the problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was neat. All right, very okay, good. guys. Well, hang on. Um, Vet trip is complete. Unfortunately, you guys didn't get to see Maggie. That was just in charge of holding on to Ace for the whole time, which wasn't bad. He's so cute, and I really haven't seen him that much since I've been away at school. But right now, I'm headed to home so I can finally shower. I feel disgusting. I've got dog slobber and hair all over me and still gross from the uh, workout but i'm going to show you guys now some of the perks of living in maryland and living out in the country you know one of the roads i can take to get home is a dirt road which is pretty cool so let's do that now Now, in my opinion, this is 10 times better than living in New Jersey.
editing this video right now. It's 6.15, 6.17. Dad is in the kitchen working on dinner, so let's go see what he's up to. So, Chef, what are you making? Well, we have a sherry-infused Atlantic salmon with Old Bay seasoning. And we have Street Maryland asparagus. Why is it Street Maryland? Because it was made in Street Maryland. And we have your usual white rice that Gina has pretty much with every meal. Mm -hmm. And now we're just waiting for the salmon to tell us it's done. Which should be in about two minutes. Okay. Looks good. Final product. 220 grams of cooked white rice, 100 grams of asparagus, and about six ounces of salmon. Beautiful. As you can see, just got back from a friend's house. That's another great thing about living in Maryland and out in the country is not having to worry about your neighbors, just put up a big bonfire, hang out, put the chairs out, enjoy the night. So that's what we just did. This is my final meal of the day. It's about 9.30 at night. Just 50 grams of oats and half a scoop of protein and a tablespoon of peanut butter finish off my fat. So that's going to do it for my meals. Macros today were 178 grams of protein, 255 carb, and 45 fat. That's going to do it for today. Hopefully you guys enjoy this video. I need to go so I can edit this and get it up for you in 12 hours. Hopefully you did like it. Please leave a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. And I'll see you guys tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. And as always, have a great day.